Hello and welcome to our ionocaloric cooling video. Cooling is an important part of our daily lives, whether it's keeping our homes cool in the summer or keeping our electronic devices from overheating. In this video, we'll look at ionocaloric cooling, a relatively new and promising technology that has the potential to change the way we think about cooling. So, let's get this party started. Ionocaloric cooling is a promising new technology that uses the adiabatic temperature change of ions in solids to cool them. Because it is highly efficient and has the potential to replace traditional methods such as refrigeration and air conditioning in certain applications, this technology has the potential to revolutionize the way we think about cooling. So, how exactly does it work? The adiabatic temperature change of ions in solids is essentially exploited to produce a cooling effect. The ionic lattice, or the arrangement of ions in a solid, is involved in this process. The ions move and the lattice expands when a voltage is applied to the ionic lattice. This expansion causes a drop in temperature, which can then be used to cool anything that comes into contact with the solid. There are numerous potential advantages to using ionocaloric cooling. For one thing, it is highly efficient because it does not require the use of refrigerants or other substances that can harm the environment. Furthermore, in certain applications, it has the potential to be more cost-effective than traditional cooling methods. So, where might we see ionocaloric cooling used? One potential application is in electronic devices that generate a lot of heat and require effective cooling solutions, such as laptops or smartphones. Another possibility is that ionocaloric cooling could be used to replace traditional methods in large-scale refrigeration systems. To summarize, ionocaloric cooling is an exciting advancement in cooling technology. It has the potential to be a highly efficient, cost-effective, and environmentally friendly alternative to traditional methods. While it is still in its early stages of development, it has the potential to significantly influence how we think about cooling in the future. We appreciate your time and hope you learned something new about ionocaloric cooling today.